Okay, YouTube, today we are going to be doing a carburetor on a Troy built uh, 21 inch TB240. This is a Honda 5.5. Alright, so first we're going to take the air filter cover off, air filter off, and it's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts. All right, I got two bolts out. I, I I don't know if I said 5.5 or not. This is actually a Honda 5 horsepower. All right, now on the back, there's a hose right back here. You just pull out, boom, comes right off. And then you got to take the fuel line off. Now we're going to remove this piece right here. And then we're going to take the throttle arm, push it up a little bit, twist, come out. And then we're going to take the spring off. Okay, now that I've got the... Uh, uh, carburetor off I put a clear bottle I use clear bottle so I can see what's in the tank um, you know it could be full of water and bad gas this one is full of water full of water so I'm going to have to clean this whole tank out. I use an air hose and air chuck to, uh, to blow it all out. Okay, on the carburetor now, we're going to take this 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the bowl in. Out. Now we're going to take this pin right here out that's holding the float in place. Pull the float straight up, right on out. It'll come right out. The jets we're going to concentrate on are inside here, inside here, and inside here. We're going to use carb cleaner or brake cleaner with the straw on it. Um, I'll put the uh, links to anything that we need um, in the description below. So um, they don't have this on there. I like this because it's really cheap at the local parts store, um, but it's even harder to find now there. Um, so gum out is another good one that I use and I'll be listing that. So we're going to stick the straw into this little hole right here and spray through this little hole right here and spray through and then this jet right here and spray through. It's got to go, it's got to be spraying through very clearly. After you get them all sprayed out, you're going to rinse down all everything that's in there. If there is debris or buildup, scrape it out with a screwdriver, whatever you got to do to get rid of it. Um, and then rinse it out. Always make sure that this is clear as well. Make sure it sprays through really nice and, and easy. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to reassemble. Before we reassemble, make sure all your parts are clean. So we give them all a good rinse down. Make sure everything's good and clean. No debris. All right. Your clean needle valve float. You're going to get the needle valve lined up with the hole and get it stuck right on in there oh it's falling out it's a two-hand job um careful don't lose it if it falls out uh, you just slide it back in just so you know how it slides in it, it goes right in right into just slides right in there like that now we're going to put the pin back in to hold it in place now we're going to reinstall the bowl, but first we got to clean this bowl, make sure it's spotless. Um, you see the gasket stuck to the bowl? Do not try to remove it. It'll crack and break. If as soon as it breaks, then you're, you're screwed. You're going to have to find a, you know, a kit. Um, I'll list a kit on there. I'll also list a, a complete new carburetor assembly. You know, um, I, I'll find something online and, and put it in the description below. Make sure the bolt's clean and. and Tighten it down. Reattach the throttle arm and then the spring. Now it gets a little tricky. We're going to put our bolts in to our uh, 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 air filter assembly first and get it in. This takes two hands, so I'm just going to explain it. I'm going to stab these through the carburetor and then I'm going to stab them through the, uh, the isolator block and have all three pieces kind of held by hand here before I line it up to that to have, you know, to, to screw it in. It's going to be kind of like this and then we're going to put the isolator block on um, and before we try to, to stab it back in and screw it back down, we're going to hook the fuel line up. Alright, we've got the fuel line hooked up, isolator block, carburetor on. Let's go ahead and get this air filter hose 
right here hooked up. Now we're holding everything together with one hand. We're going to line up the bolts to the holes and try to get them just stuck in there a little bit. And then we're going to use the 10 millimeter socket on the uh, other side over here and, uh, and uh, put it in. Screw it. All right, now we've got everything all lined up and both bolts started. Now we can completely tighten it down. Now we put the air filter back on like this and uh, you blow it out with air. If it's really dirty, replace it. I'll have that in the description as well, you know, a replacement air filter. These slide right in the bottom and then it slings up and the clips are in the top. They clip right in. Then you put gas in it and it's ready to go. All right, guys, so again, anything that we used in the, uh, you know, that that you may need at all, really, in the, it, for putting this thing together, we're going to uh, list in the description. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. That's, that's, how, you do, that's how you do your carburetor. Uh, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Here's today's shirt. I don't know if you can see it all. I'm getting a new camera uh, for my birthday, El Cinco de Mayo. My wife's, you know, I bought it for my wife to wrap up for me. Peace.